We are seeing new video this morning showing a close call in the skies over North Dakota between a Delta flight and a B-52 bomber. After a close call with a U.S. Air Force B-52 bomber. In the demanding realm of military aviation, technological innovation is as critical as manpower, with strategic balance often hinging on a single breakthrough. The story of the B-21 Raider stands out as a defining example of this intersection. After years of highly controlled development, the B-21 Raider is no longer mere theory. It is now real and airborne. Recent months mark a significant shift in American strategic air power. Not one, but two B-21 Raiders are now flying and operating from Edwards Air Force Base, California. These are not mock-ups or illustrations. They are the U.S. Air Force's sixth-generation stealth bombers, actively participating in a rigorous flight test program that demonstrates American commitments to modernizing its strategic bomber fleet. With the arrival of a second aircraft, the B-21 program has entered an accelerated phase of testing and evaluation. This increased tempo is underpinned by technical progress and reinforced by the Air Force's significant investment, a $10.3 billion allocation for fiscal year 2026 to support broad testing, further aircraft procurement, and extensive mission integration efforts. This significant funding reflects seriousness and urgency. The commitment is not just about the technical feasibility of the B-21 as a cutting-edge bomber. It is a tangible step meant to inject speed and scale into the program, supporting the overarching goal of fielding a credible, survivable, and flexible U.S. bomber force for decades to come. The result is a visible acceleration, signaling a shift in U.S. long-range air power that will be measured not just in new aircraft, but in the operational capabilities and responsiveness of the entire bomber enterprise. The arrival of the second B-21 symbol and function. The Air Force's announcement in September 2025 that a second B-21 Raider had arrived at Edwards Air Force Base was a notable development for American air power. Edwards, long known as a center of aerospace innovation, now hosts both operational test articles of the next generation bomber. The addition of a second B-21 to the Edwards test community is not solely symbolic. It is a strategic step in broadening the learning curve. Test and evaluation with multiple aircraft allow more robust examination of airframe performance, stealth characteristics, and maintenance demands. With two aircraft available, the test team can run parallel missions, collect more data, and move more quickly through the required test points directly supporting efforts to validate the bomber's operational capabilities and identify areas for improvement ahead of wider production. Each additional airframe enhances not just flight hours, but operational insight. Maintenance crews, flight engineers, and pilots are now equipped to explore the nuances of a fundamentally new airframe in real-world scenarios. This approach reduces the time needed to address and resolve any developmental anomalies and provides a far broader base of operational knowledge than a single test article could deliver. This increase in visibility and activity holds its own signaling value. The deployment of multiple B-21 airframes, contrasted with past generations where prototypes were often tested in isolation, sends a message of sustained progress to both internal stakeholders and external observers. For the U.S. defense community and its allies, it validates prior investments and demonstrates tangible progress. For potential adversaries, it underscores a commitment to maintain a technology edge. The presence of two flying B-21s boosts confidence domestically as well, serving to galvanize support among policymakers, the defense workforce, service members' families, and the wider public it signals that the period of theoretical discussions about America's next-generation bomber is ending. The operational reality is now taking shape. The acceleration of testing and progress toward production is, therefore, more than an engineering milestone. 
It is also a strategic communications tool, conveying urgency and seriousness about fielding capabilities to meet evolving threats. The strategic drive, from test flights to scale up. Introducing a second high-value test aircraft is a major step for any significant defense program. In this instance, the decision reflects both technological readiness and an evolving strategic context. Typically, new bombers are rolled out through long and iterative test campaigns, often stretching across many years. The Air Force's established process is rigorous, but can be slowed by developmental challenges and constrained by budget cycles. The addition of a second B-21 to flight testing suggests a shift toward greater urgency in response to a dynamic security environment. Global competitors are investing in advanced air defenses and emerging technologies that could challenge America's long-standing dominance in strategic bombing. The B-21 program, and notably the decision to expand simultaneous testing, directly addresses this evolving threat environment. The $10.3 billion request in the fiscal year 2026 budget is integral to scaling up the B-21 program. This investment is planned for more than just test flights. It supports building additional aircraft, expanding manufacturing infrastructure, and streamlining operational testing, simulation, and training. The intent is to ensure that as soon as the B-21 is cleared for frontline service, scaled production and deployment can commence without delay. Operational resilience is another core benefit of testing with two airframes. Where a single prototype might delay testing, should the aircraft require upgrades, inspection or repairs, having a second avoids bottlenecks, keeps test data flowing and maintains development momentum. This redundancy in the testing process increases the pace at which the program can iterate and solve technical challenges. The scale-up is taking place alongside continued reliance on the legacy bomber fleet. The Air Force's plans include at least 100 B-21s operating in conjunction with 76 modernized B-52s. This arrangement is designed not as a replacement, but as a layered approach that sustains proven capability while adding new options for survivability and flexibility in high-threat environments. This holistic approach ensures that future U.S. air power is not simply built around numbers, but is strategically balanced to address a range of mission demands, from nuclear deterrence to conventional strike, and from global presence to targeted engagement. Inside the testing regime, stealth weapons and mission flexibility. With two B-21s now active in the flight test campaign, the Air Force has expanded its capacity to evaluate and refine the bomber's core attributes. Stealth, weapons integration, and adaptable mission hardware are all being scrutinized under an accelerated schedule. Stealth is a moving target, an ongoing race against detection technologies and shifting operational environments. Doubling the available airframes means the test team can conduct a broader range of scenarios and stress the B-21's signature management across both routine and edge cases. Real-world data from multiple jets under varied conditions provides a depth of analysis that is critical for validating next-generation survivability. Weapons testing is similarly being enhanced. Testing with two airframes enables parallel work on integrating standoff munitions, precision bombs, and other mission-specific payloads. This side-by-side -side testing approach expedites efforts to verify safe separation, targeting effectiveness, and software compatibility, elements vital for certifying the B-21's combat readiness. Flexibility has been a design focus of the B-21 program from its inception. Its open architecture avionics are intended to accommodate new sensors and payloads. Testing with more aircraft permits simultaneous evaluation of everything from communications links and sensor fusion to the ability to conduct retasking or adapt to mission changes mid-flight. It also opens the door to evaluating manned-unmanned teaming concepts and integration with broader joint force operations. The impact of this testing regime is that real-world insights are being gained at a faster rate and across a wider spectrum of operational parameters. All the while, 
Issues uncovered and resolved in testing reduce headaches during operational deployment, contributing to a smoother transition from developmental program to fielded capability. Budget as a signal, the meaning behind $10.3 billion. The Air Force's request for $10.3 billion for the B-21 program in the upcoming fiscal year is not only a procurement measure, it is a visible signal of national priority. Unlike incremental funding of the past, this front-loaded investment covers a span of activities. Expanded testing, production ramp-up, production infrastructure development, and the broadening of the supporting enterprise required to field an entirely new fleet of bombers. The fiscal year 2026 allocation is intended to accelerate rather than merely sustain progress. Suppliers and partner industries depend on such clear and substantial funding commitments to invest in production capacity, secure materials, and train the workforce needed for long-term manufacturing at scale. Preemptive investment in production infrastructure is designed to ensure that, once the B-21 achieves required test performance, larger numbers of airframes can be quickly delivered. Support infrastructure is a key focus as well. Dedicated resources are being put toward expanding maintenance facilities, establishing comprehensive training programs for aircrew and maintainers, and building robust supply chains for spare parts, all in parallel with testing and production. This dual-track approach means the Air Force will be better prepared to bring the B-21 into operational service at scale. Funding at this magnitude also carries strategic messaging value. It demonstrates to both allies and competitors that the United States is committed to modernizing the nuclear-capable leg of its bomber triad. Such financial signals are closely monitored by defense and intelligence communities worldwide, underscoring the Air Force's resolve to see the B-21 through to operational fielding. Finally, this level of investment supports the broader U.S. industrial base. Aerospace manufacturing hubs and their communities across multiple states benefit from program stability, helping sustain skilled jobs and innovation pipelines that undergird not just the B-21, but future defense projects as well. Impact on the legacy bomber fleet. Evolution, not replacement. American long-range strike capability has long relied on a blend of proven and advanced platforms. The B-52 Stratofortress, thanks to ongoing modernization, remains effective as the backbone of the U.S. bomber fleet. The introduction of the B-21 radar is about evolution, building on the legacy fleet, not discarding it. The future force will center on at least 100 B-21s alongside 76 B-52s, allowing a combination of high survivability and proven operational reach. The B-21 is designed to execute penetrating strike missions against advanced air defenses, while the B-52 continues to offer payload capacity, flexibility, and electronic warfare support. Operating these platforms in concert maximizes available options for mission planners and enhances overall deterrence posture. This two-tiered arrangement allows the Air Force to develop new operational doctrines such as disaggregated strike packages, flexible sequencing, and rapid surge capacity. The quicker the B-21 moves through production and fielding, the sooner these new concepts can be validated in real-world conditions and integrated into strategic planning. Rather than reducing the contribution of legacy platforms, the B-21 program is structured to build a complementary force architecture that can adapt to a rapidly changing threat landscape. Ensuring the United States retains credible long-range strike capabilities for decades. Mission readiness and the path to operational deployment. As the B-21 moves closer to operational fielding, the Air Force is concentrating on every element that contributes to mission readiness. Expanding the test fleet directly increases the number and scope of rehearsal sorties, validating the aircraft's performance, maintainability, and adaptability in realistic operational environments. Mission readiness is validated not just through engineering checks, but through a succession of increasingly complex trials, 
emergency procedures, simulated combat missions, rapid turnaround exercises, and integration with other Air Force assets. The presence of two radar airframes accelerates the learning curve for both hardware and personnel. Crew training is a particular area of focused investment. By continuously cycling crews through flight tests, simulator sessions, and procedures refinement, the Air Force is developing a deep cadre of B-21 qualified pilots and maintainers whose expertise will be critical when the bomber transitions to operational status. Lessons from the operational careers of B-2 and B-52 crews are being incorporated, ensuring knowledge transfer and the fostering of a new generation of bomber aviators. Operational concepts are being trialed in advance, leveraging the expanded test program to address challenges before they become operational hurdles. This includes everything from advanced mission planning to ground support and resilience in contested environments. Cross-training between B-21 and legacy bomber personnel also ensures institutional cohesion and adaptability. Integration with joint and allied command structures is a further priority. Testing focuses on ensuring the B-21 can seamlessly share data, respond to rapidly changing mission directives, and operate flexibly in concert with other advanced platforms such as strike fighters and future unmanned systems. This intensive glide path to operational deployment, coupled with the lessons learned from every stage of the test campaign, is designed to build confidence in the weapon system before it takes its place at the heart of the US deterrence and strike portfolios. Integrating the future, the road ahead for the B-21 radar. The acceleration of the B-21 program reflects a broader shift in the Air Force's approach to force modernization, one that prioritizes agility, rapid learning, and the fielding of credible new systems at pace with emerging threats. Increased production, overlapping test cycles, and early investment in supporting infrastructure are meant to minimize the lag between developmental success and operational impact. Each flight at Edwards Air Force Base builds not only towards technical certification, but towards a force that is strategically and operationally ready to deter and, if needed, respond. As the B-21 Raiders' numbers grow, its integration will inform future doctrines, tactics, and acquisition strategies. The experience gained from expediting its development is likely to influence subsequent Air Force acquisition and modernization efforts beyond the bomber community. Nevertheless, challenges remain. Success for the B-21 will ultimately be measured by its reliability, adaptability, and relevance on the day it is called upon to serve, not simply by the pace of its development or the scale of its budget. The combination of rigorous testing, sustained investment, and deliberate transition planning is intended to meet this challenge head-on. With each milestone achieved, additional airframes produced, flight test points cleared, support networks operationalized, the B-21 Raider draws closer to fulfilling its role as a foundational element of American air power, poised to meet the demands of current and future strategic environments. The B-21 Raider stands as a mark of ongoing U.S. commitment to advanced air power and integrated deterrence. With a deliberate pace of production, expanding test benchmarks, and substantial fiscal backing, the Air Force is taking methodical steps toward ensuring the United States maintains credible dominance in the skies. The efforts to drive the radar from painstaking development into operational reality reflect a recognition of evolving threats and the enduring need to innovate. As the program moves forward, it will not only shape the future of strategic bombing, but also set the tone for what comes next in global air power competition. The trajectory is now clear. The era of the B-21 Raider is underway, with implications that will unfold across the coming decades.